Cause I be in the hood like an engine block Dude, that rhetoric you spit, I ain't hearing it What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Dope So, it is fight week This weekend, March 16th We have Errol Spence versus Mikey Garcia So I think it was time for me to give my prediction of the fight now, I do not want to repeat what I've already said in my Keys to Victory video, so please check that out if you haven't already. In order for me to do my prediction, I wanted to grab as many resources as I possibly can to make a very stable and a very understandable prediction of who I think is going to win this fight. I want to start with this Robert Garcia quote that I heard earlier this week. Spence is not that one fighter that, that you know, you can find that one thing and that's all, you know. It's got to be a little bit of everything. Mike just have, has to have a perfect fight. He has to fight a perfect fight. He <laughs> has to have a perfect fight. He has to fight a perfect fight. You think so? so, according to Robert Garcia, Mikey Garcia must fight a perfect fight. Now, I am humble enough to know that I do not know more about Mikey Garcia than Robert Garcia. So I'm going to have to take his word for it. In order for Mikey Garcia to beat Errol Spence, he's going to have to fight what Robert Garcia calls a perfect fight. I definitely think that Mikey Garcia has the skills, he has the mentality, I think he has the intestinal fortitude to actually fight a perfect fight. Now what can Errol Spence do against someone fighting the perfect fight? So I thought about the one guy of this era who is considered to be the closest thing to perfection and that's Floyd Mayweather. So what happened when Errol Spence met Floyd Mayweather wow, in a ring? Well, this is what happened. You know, I call a spade a spade. So he was giving me, he was actually, he gave me, he was giving me good work. Real good work. <coughs> and he pushed me, made me get myself, he made me get in tip top condition. And when I got in tip top condition, I was Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather sporting was handed to him by Earl Spence. I heard they both had black eyes. That's what I heard. I haven't seen either one. I was at a party with Floyd um, Sunday night. I forgot to look. We had a little party for him Sunday night in Vegas. But I heard they both gave each other black eyes. That happens in the gym. Now, allegedly, Errol Spence gave Floyd Mayweather all he can handle. Here's what I just heard from Rockman Jr. just yesterday. For the smoke him, was. I did see him. I did see him box Floyd though, and and, and um. How I did was that go? First spot. Can you tell us how that went? I mean, y'all see where Earl at right now? He world champion. I mean, he he you know he did his thing. So it, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been it would have been if it was the other way around. It wouldn't be no it wouldn't have been no story. Mm -hmm. You know, it'd have been like everybody else. But when it's when it's somebody who has been to that level and done that, then you know, everything that happened in the gym, stay in the gym, but you can read between the lines. Mm -hmm. I think that it was more than just a black eye. I think these boxers and these guys who've been around the sport forever would not respond this way to maybe a, lock, a lucky shot or maybe just a random black eye. I think Errol Spence was handling Floyd Mayweather. I definitely think he earned Floyd Mayweather's respect. So I know that I'm using Floyd Mayweather against Errol Spence in a spar. And I know I'm going to be getting a lot of comments in the comment section from the Mikey Garcia fan base. Well, here's a message to counter that from your friend and mine, the keeping it real guy. Man, if we ever heard that Mikey Garcia beat Floyd Mayweather in a sparring session, oh my God, that's all we ever hear is how Mikey Garcia beat Floyd Mayweather in a sparring session. Oh, but if you use Errol Spence beating Floyd Mayweather in a sparring session, it's just sparring. But if Mikey Garcia would have beat Floyd Mayweather in a sparring session, don't you lie to me. You know, like I know, that that's all you guys will be talking about. I am sick of Yes, it was a spar, but like the Keeping It Real guy said, if Mikey Garcia handled Floyd Mayweather 
allegedly in a sparring session, then that's all we'll be hearing is how Mikey Garcia handled Floyd Mayweather. I think it's only fair, and I think we have to be reasonable in our response to this, that that is a big deal that Errol Spence handled Floyd Mayweather before he even had the experience. He handled someone who has a perfect record, who has a lot of experience, an Olympian himself. He is Floyd Mayweather, one of the greatest fighters of all time. He handled him in a sparring session so much that Floyd Mayweather kicked him out of the gym. So I do and I must agree with Robert Garcia that Mikey Garcia must fight a perfect fight. But I'm also considering what Errol Spence has done against perfection. If you grab those two things, I have to give the edge to Errol Spence. I think Errol Spence is bigger, he's faster, he's stronger, he's technically sound, he's a great boxer. I am still questioning if Mikey Garcia is even a better boxer than Errol Spence. I guess we'll see Saturday. But my prediction for the fight, I got Errol Spence beating Mikey Garcia by knockout. Please comment below what you think. What do you think about all of the allegations of what happened between Errol Spence and Floyd Mayweather? Do you think that that is a good argument to why Errol Spence will beat Mikey Garcia? And showbiz the adult. Listen to showbiz. I'm not boxing. Boxing. What's that? What's that?